guys, it's Lexi. I hope you're all having a great day. I am filming this on Sunday and I'm really hoping to get this video up later tonight. It is such a gloomy, dark day outside today and I was really hoping the sun would come out so I could get a really nice, good, bright, well lit video for you guys, but it seems that it's just getting darker and darker. So I'm gonna try to get this video out as quick as possible. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry about the light being kind of dark. I turned up the exposure, so hopefully it's good enough. But we will just jump right into this. I am sharing the empties and what I melted for the first week of this challenge and also that like one extra bonus day. So if you guys saw my intro video to this, I did do like a small little basket for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. And it was all kind of like champagne and like bubbly fizzy type uplifting scents for the new year. And um, I will share the empties from that first and then I'll share what I melted from that as well. So I was able to finish up quite a few things from that small little basket, which I'm feeling really good about. And the first thing that I finished up is this tiny little sample scent shot cup that I received from Teddy Bees in the scent Cranberry Mimosa. I melted this in a ball warmer in my office, in my like guest office room. And I said it was an eight out of 10. Uh, really juicy and a little bit tart from the cranberry. I do remember this one being really nice. I don't know if I would necessarily want to go out of my way and like repurchase this one, but it was really nice and I enjoyed it for what it was. And I'm always very grateful for samples. The next little small size that I used in that room as well was Cherry Prosecco Cordial. And this is from the Bathing Garden. And I gave this one an eight out of 10 as well. I've been having really good luck with my small bathing garden samples. They seem to do really well in my bedrooms, which my bedrooms are not really that large at all, but they always perform quite well for me. Um, and this one I said is my favorite out of all of the fizzy scents that I melted for that basket. So this one was the standout out of all of these. And I said that I really loved the cherry because sometimes cherry scents can come off like kind of medicinal, but this one didn't do that. It was just like a really nice, like a maraschino type cherry to me. So that one was really good in the standout. I also melted this in that same room. Um, and this is bright and fizzy. And I said, um, this was a 7.5 out of 10 for me. It definitely wasn't, definitely was strong on the fizzy pop. And it was almost like a sparkling seltzer vibe that it gave me. And the scent notes I did look up for you guys. It is very licious, pink sugar, cotton candy, and fizzy pop. Um, I'm not sure if it's cotton candy frosting or cotton candy, but this one I, I did like, but it definitely wouldn't be something that I would go out of my way to purchase, but I'm not usually like huge on like the fizzy pop type sense anyway. And I feel like the pink sugar, I could detect a small bit. Um, then I melted this one, which was not really a super fizzy bubbly type scent, but it was something that I thought would be kind of a funny name to melt around New Year's. And this is Diet Starts Monday from um, L3 Waxy Wonders. And this is Cotton Candy Frosting, Sugar Cookie Royale, Santa's on Keto, and Sugared Shortbread. I gave this an 8 out of 10. I said it was a hyper sweet bakery scent, and I definitely enjoyed it. So this is something that I possibly would keep my eye out for if I did go back in and purchase something from L3. But I feel like right now I, I have a, enough L3 scents that I'm just good on riding it out. So I'm happy that I did try that one out. Um, let's talk about this one. This is Champagne Pear from Destination Wax. Oh my God, this was so strong. So the notes on this are bubbling with Bartlett Pear, Pear Nectar, and Green Apples. And I gave this a 10 out of 10. It was super, super strong. I wrote, holy moly. <laughs> um, I said, only use one cube per room at a time. I warned myself, I guess. And this one came across slightly cleaner like. So when I smelled this on cold, I remember like really loving it, but something happened when I warmed it up that it kind of gave me like this clean, like clean, like a bathroom cleaner or like some time, some, why can I not talk? Some type of like an astringent, like cleaner product, which I did not love. Um, I also think that I really overdid it on this. I split this between a hot plate warmer, a bulb warmer and a tea light warmer in my bedroom all at one time and it completely overwhelmed every other scent that was going in my house so i would say performance wise it was great but the scent i think was just too strong for me and with that toner of like the the cleaner type vibe that i was getting i didn't love it so 
I had three cubes left of this after that mistake that I made the first night. And then the next day I ended up just putting this one in a um, one cube in my ball warmer in my bathroom. And it was quite, quite strong in there even then alone, just one, you know, little cube. Um, and it, it did fit that room better. It kind of gave it like a clean vibe. So I, I don't know if I definitely probably wouldn't repurchase this, this again. And I do have another champagne scent from Destination Wax. So I'm curious if it's just that champagne note. Um, and I thought I really liked it on cold, but I don't know. It just wasn't for me, but very strong. Um, and I melted champagne toast type from L3. This one, I gave it three out of 10. It was so light. You guys, I barely noticed this, which was definitely a, a big bummer because I was really hoping that this would be very strong because the champagne toast candles that I burned from Bath & Body Works, I always seem to struggle with the scent performance of even those candles. So maybe it's just that scent, but you guys know I love champagne toast in like body care. I'm wearing it right now actually, and it smells amazing. So this was a bit of a bummer, but that's okay. They cannot all be winners. Um, and then finally, I do have one clamshell that I was able to completely finish up. And this is from um, Walmart. It is Sensationals. And this is in Festive Bubbly, which I did mention in the melting basket originally. This is supposed to be like a dupe of the Bath & Body Works Sparkling Pear Riesling. And I do have that candle and I do find that these are very similar. Um, I heard that it was a dupe. I smelled them side by side and I can agree that it is. Um, this I gave a 7.5 out of 10. It was a good dupe for the Sparkling Pear Riesling. I don't think because I had those candles that I would necessarily need to go out and get this one again. I actually, it says limited edition, so I don't even know if it's available, but I did like it for what it was. I'm happy that I have finished this up. So I just had to go and turn up the um, exposure right now because it is getting so dark, you guys. So really quickly, let's talk about the things that I was able to um, use but not completely finish that were part of that New Year's basket as well. I have pomegranate Prosecco from Scentsy. This was weird on cold to me. I, I feel bad saying it, but I have to be honest. I got like this weird cappy kind of a scent from this on cold. I just, I don't love it. Something about it is weird with my nose. But once I warmed this up, it kind of just became like a nice juicy fruity scent. I definitely don't think that this is anything that is a standout to me that I would need to like put in a club or even get more of. Um, I do have some left, so I'll use it and I'll enjoy it. And luckily that scent kind of went away once I warmed it up, but it's definitely not like a favorite of mine. I did use quite a bit of this bag. You won't be able to tell, but I did use a good chunk of this sparkling pink Yankee candle, chopped up candle. Uh, the scent notes on this are blackberry and Pinot Noir grape. I really like this. This is a good juicy fruit to me. Um, definitely like a good grapey scent. So I really like this one. I'm happy I have some more, and this is definitely gonna go into a future melting basket coming up. And then finally, I have Champagne Problems, and this is from Salt Mountain Melts. And you guys, this is Cherries on Snow, which is a Yankee Candle candle scent, and um, Bubbling Champagne and Vanilla B. Noel. I just don't think the Cherries on Snow scent is personally for me. I did go into Yankee Candle, and I smelled that one, and I was like, it's not, I just don't like that specific scent. And I will say that that is the strongest thing that I smelled with this. I didn't get a whole lot of the Vanilla B. Noel or like the Champagne really um this isn't a favorite of mine but that's okay um as far as like the lasting power this did do fairly well and lasted longer i do have another um salt mountain melts that i will share with you guys in just a little bit but um this one definitely was a lot longer lasting than the other one um but yeah just not my personal favorite scent the cherry just wasn't for me. So that was Champagne Problems. And now I'm gonna move on to the scents that were in my blue basket. So this is literally all that is left of my blue basket that I shared with you guys. So I'd say I did pretty good. And I did, um, unfortunately not, I was not able to get to two Scentsy clamshells, but luckily we are in clamshell week right now. So I might just throw, throw these ones into that basket for this week. Um, this one is Polar Bear Hog. I didn't get to this one. And this one is Poor Unfortunate Souls which is like the Ursula clamshell. So these ones are going to go into that melting basket and hopefully I will be able to share my thoughts with you on that one at the end of this next week. Um, I was able to fin or use up, I'm kind of going backwards now, I guess. I was able to use up two of these, or not use up, use some, sorry you guys, I'm losing my mind. It's getting dark, so I feel like I'm racing against the clock. Um, this is Fluffy Fleece. I used three cubes of this and I used this in a hot plate warmer, a uh, Yankee Candle like plug-in wall little mini warmer and a hot and a tea light warmer with this and oh my god I instantly stuck this in my club I am obsessed with this I I don't know what it is but it just smells like 
like a actual like a warm fluffy fleece blanket i don't know how they did it it something about this is like almost like a nostalgic scent for me it smells like i used to have this back when i was a little girl i had this winnie the pooh sweatshirt that was like a fleece sweatshirt and it, this reminds me of the way that that smelled i don't know you guys i don't know maybe it was the detergent that my mother used growing up this smells like that and i love it it brings back good memories for me so fluffy fleece in my club i love this one i'm obsessed with this one so definitely a win and then this one is arctic kiss and um i, I know a lot of people love this one this was really nice and like a very fresh clean scent like i think is there melon in this there's something that's just kind of like a fruity freshness and i did like this one it's definitely not going to go into my club or it's not something that i feel like i need more and more and more of but i did enjoy this for what it was and it did perform really well both of these lasted a long time and um performed great for me so i have this one has got a bit of a funny story so this is destination wax magic in the air and this is almond flower white iris fruit and whipped vanilla which is a bath and body works type i love the scent from bath and body works and i melted this in a tea light warmer in our van this past week tom and i decided to do a little winter camping we took our van up to this um park where you can just kind of like camp for free a around a lake uh, walked out on the frozen lake it was really beautiful we had a friend come up and meet us there we had a campfire and it was snowing it was really a nice time um, and this we had in our van for those two days and it lasted like a day and a half, I guess. And it lasted a long, long time. And I really love this scent. I'm excited that I have more to melt. Um, I kind of wanted to savor this one a bit because I liked it that much. So it was really nice. And I feel like now because I made those memories when I had this going that I'll relate to that. So next time I melt this, I think I'll think of that fun time I had. And I did melt quite a bit. I only have four cubes left of this bag from Rose Girls. And this is one of the good ones which I love. It's such a fresh, masculine, kind of sexy, like right out of the shower, clean man kind of scent. I love this one. This one performed amazing for me. I would always do like two little mini melter cubes in my um, Walmart warmer and like a ball warmer in my bathroom. And it always did well. And it lasted for like a day and a half, two days. And I really liked it. So that one's a great one. I did melt some warm and cozy from Teddy Bees, and this is Tonka Bean Jasmine Patchouli Vanilla blended with Comfort Bath and Body Works type. I had this going in my bedroom. This one took a little bit to get going and like warm up, but once it did, I really loved this. And it was a perfect bedroom, like warm, inviting, comforting, clean type scent. So I definitely love this. If I, once I eventually run out of this and if it's available, I'll probably pick up more of this one, but I really did enjoy this quite a bit. Um, and I melted um, another chunk bag of te or a chunk bag of Teddy Bees. I used one whole cube from this, and this is Snow Covered Orchard, and this is notes of sparkling snow, whipped vanilla, apples, pears, and plums. And I mentioned when I did my haul on this one that it was a bit perfumey, and I will say that that kind of did translate. It wasn't overly perfumey. I would say it toned back a bit, but there was something about this that almost just smelled like a, a fresh, slightly perfumey fruit type scent. So personally, I don't think that this is a favorite scent for me, and I might end up passing this one on to some people that might enjoy it more, but it was okay, and I'm happy that I did try it. I just I just don't think it's just like personally my favorite. It's a, it was just a bit on the like perfumey side. So that was my thoughts on that one. And then finally, for things that I did not empty from the blue basket, I have Oh Yeah from Rainbow Melts. And this is chocolate chip cookie dough, cookies and cream and sweet cream. I used two cubes and I will say that this one was definitely a little bit lighter. Um, it was probably like six out of 10 for the throw. And just the scent I don't think was also for me. So this one and the last one, I just don't, I feel like I kind of was a little bit like weighing on like, do I like it, do I not? before I melted it and then after I melted it, I think I just was like, yeah, I don't think these are for me. So that's okay, not everything can be, you know, for you. Um, yeah, so chocolate chip cookie dough, did I read the notes? Chocolate chip cookie dough, cookies and cream and sweet cream. It was just a bit too, I don't know, I don't really know, Co it chocolatey maybe? It was a bit too chocolatey for me. So that was my thoughts on that one. And now I have this massive pile of empties to share with you guys. So let me make sure the light is still good. Okay, so the first little sample bag that I was able to finish from Rose Girls is in Sugar Cookie Latte. And I wrote eight out of 10. 
It was a creamy cookie with a hint of coffee once it warmed up. It was really nice, but I have some other Rose Girls coffee blends I prefer. So the sugar cookie latte was good. I think if I had to pick latte, coffee, or espresso. I think I prefer the espresso scent in the like world of coffee range. So this one was nice, but definitely not something that I would probably like go out of my way to repurchase. Um, I have finished a little thing of roasted coffee bean ice cream. For this one, I wrote seven out of 10 throw, similar to the espresso, roasted espresso note that is in the Fire Mario blend, um, minus like that marshmallow fireside note. And I will say that the ice cream wasn't really strong in this. It was like it's tad bit creamy, but mostly it was just like a roasted coffee type scent. Um, and then this one here is Jumping on Espresso Clouds. I gave this a six out of 10 for throw. And I said that the Jumping on Clouds blend just isn't my favorite. I finished up a, a mini melter bag and just that on its own. And I just definitely don't like prefer that scent. There's something about it that almost kind of reminds me of zucchini bread. I don't know why there's no zucchini bread in that one. Um, the espresso is a nice addition to the Jumping on Clouds, but definitely this wouldn't be something that I would personally repurchase. It's just not for me. I did finish up some Cookie Land blends here. So I finished up two of the little sample bags in Cupcakes at Tiffany Cookie Land, and I really, really like this. I gave it a seven out of 10 for throw. So it wasn't like overwhelmingly strong, but this thing lasted for like for such a long time. I felt like every time I would go to like pull this out of the warmer, cause I was like, can I smell it? I would get like a really good whiff of it. And I was like, no, I can't pull it out yet. It was really, really good. So it's literally just Cupcakes at Tiffany's plus Cookie Land. I feel like you cannot go wrong with that blend. I did use a little sample and finish this up in making bread in Cookie Land, and I was really unsure of this one, melting it at first, cause just based on cold sniff. I gave it an eight out of 10. I said it was strong for five hours and then it died like suddenly, um, but I surprisingly did enjoy this for being the bready scent, cause usually I'm not a fan of like those bready notes. Um, it just to me smelled like Cookie Land, but with a, like an oomph of bakery. So I did like that one. I don't know if I will want to melt the other bag that I have in this. I might pass it along to somebody else that I know would love it. So that's my thoughts on that one. And then I did uh, use a little like two chunk thing of stolen hoodie. I posted this on the Rose Girls page because I love it so much. I really hope this comes back because this one where is that fluffy fleece kind of invoked like a, a scent memory for me. This one did that. Um, really weird, I don't know why, but it kind of reminded me of like the smell of like an old boyfriend's hoodie. I don't like that old boyfriend, but it kind of reminded me of like the scent that I used to wear for like an old boyfriend's hoodie in high school. I don't know. Um, not necessarily anything that I'm like missing, but the, the scent memory was just, it reminded me of like being in high school and it was nice. It was just, so it's fluffy towels and cologne. I'm not sure what exact cologne base it is, but it was like this slight, like just a tad bit of like a masculine clone with like this enveloping warm sweetness and cleanly, like clean laundry scent. And I loved this. I might just like the fluffy towel scent on its own. I'll have to try that. So really, really good stolen hoodie. And then finally, another scent that I absolutely love from Rose Girls. This is Ice Palace. So I found the notes online. It's snow powder, cool mint on a bed of tonka bean and creamy vanilla. And I wrote all over the back of this. I said 8.5 out of 10. I found this to be quite strong. Um, and I melted this in a similar fashion that I kind of said with the other ones, like hot plate warmer, ball warmer, and tea light warmer throughout my living room. And I loved it. I said definitely repurchase this next year. Amazing combo of vanilla and sweet mint. This was, for somebody that doesn't love peppermint, this was an amazing peppermint. It was very, very subtle, just there enough, but it was mostly like this beautiful, like winter creamy vanilla, and I loved this scent, so really, really good. Um, another scent that I have repurchased before, and I this is my second empty bag of this. Um, I love this. This is Winterfell from Teddy Bees. The throw always depends on a warmer that I use, and I do find my Teddy Bees to do best when I use it in a um, Yankee Candle Centerpiece Warmer. I've talked to you guys a million times about this, but the general range was like a 7.8 or seven to eight out of 10 for throw. I said, I love this scent. I love this blend. It is so complex. It is um, like warming and cooling and masculine and sweet at the same time. I don't know if I told you the notes. It's Marshmallow Fireside, Palo Santo, White Birch, Icy Snow, and Vanilla. So I feel like Marshmallow Fireside is such a sweet like scent to me. I almost feel like I could wear it as body care sometimes because it's just like such a beautiful, like sweet scent on its own with like this depth to it um, from like the fireside kind of note. 
mixed with like the masculine Palo Santo and like sometimes tree scents can be a little masculine to me too. So that white birch is a little masculine as well. Um, and then the vanilla, just every, it's just so complex and so beautiful. And if you haven't tried Winterfell from Teddy Bees, I really do recommend this scent. I love it. Um, I did melt two bags of rainbow melts. I finished up a bag and take a break. And this is espresso fresh baked blueberry muffins. And it was a seven out of 10, a classic blueberry muffin scent with coffee. It was a nice combo. I don't know if I necessarily need to go out and get more of this, but I did enjoy it for melting it, you know, when I did. And this is Missouri, which is Momo the Monster, Lord of Misrule, Marshmallow Fireside, and Blue Sugar. I give this one a nine out of 10. It lasted two days in my bathroom. Tom complimented the scent, which he usually doesn't, but he really liked this one. And he said it reminded him of cotton candy. So I don't know why, but this one is really nice. Another one that I liked for when I melted it, but I don't know if I would need more of it. Um, this was a birdies making sense. Um, chew barka, which is zucchini bread, ice, lemon cookies, and coconut cream pie. And I gave it a seven out of 10 throw. It was a really nice creamy lemon bakery. I didn't get a lot of the zucchini bread, which I was very grateful for. Um, and I did enjoy this one quite a bit. So for a zucchini bread scent, I did like it. I finished up a bag in berry white, which is from that smell good shop. It's caramel, vanilla, bean, noel, blueberries, and bananas. I gave it a seven out of 10. A lot of these were kind of like similar range for me. Um, nothing was like really, really too light of a throw for me this week. And everything was not like, for the most part, not overwhelming besides that one that I mentioned. Um, but anyway, so this one I said reminded me of a vanilla ice cream topped with fresh blueberries and banana and like a hot caramel sauce on top. I really like this. But I think our, um, that smell good shop. I really am very surprised that this is pretty old bag, like definitely like two, maybe even 2019 and it's performing well for me still. So really impressed with that. I finished up a little tiny, tiny sample of um, coquettish from the bathing garden. I said, I don't know the scent notes on this. It might be out now because the Valentine's collection is now launched and this is probably in that collection. I said maybe like an almond vanilla cookie. It smells like a macaroon to me. It was a seven out of 10 throw nice and sweet. Probably when we purchase that one. This one is from Salt Mountain Melts and it is in a princess cut. So notes on this are cupcakes at Tiffany's cherry wedding cake and cherry and wedding cake. And I gave this an eight out of 10. This one really, when I popped it in the warmers, it like packed a punch like instantly and it was it was probably actually stronger than eight out of ten um it was probably like a nine or a ten out of ten like but like right when i put it in but this one did die off quickly so that was the downfall of this the scent immediately was so good so good i loved the blend um but then it did die out quickly so i found myself replacing this one a lot um but yeah so it fizzled out quick it was a really nice com um combo Tom did comment on this one and he said he really liked this one as well. So when Tom comments on a scent, I know it's a good one. So I really did like it for that reason. Two more bags left to go. I finished up Zapes Dashing Through the Snow and I don't know the scent notes. This I got in a mystery bag and I gave it a nine out of 10. I said, wow, all caps, loved this. It smelled like snow. It was almost like cooling, maybe a slight bit of peppermint, but it wasn't overwhelmingly peppermint to me. And then there was something like that was just like a subtle hint of like a tree scent in the background. You guys, I loved this scent, dashing through the snow. I really hope that this comes back next year because I would love to have a larger quantity in this. I loved it, loved it, loved it. And then this one finally is Southbound's Blueberry Cheesecake Ice Cream, which is notes of rich cream cheese, blueberry, super sweet vanilla ice cream, and a tiny hint of cinnamon. I said it before, I don't get any cinnamon in this. I gave it like an eight out of 10. It was a creamy blueberry scent. I personally did enjoy, but Tom was like, Com like commenting there's like this weird like kind of stinky note and I think it was a cream cheese okay so my battery is like dying right now so it might have cut off but I just really quickly want to share like the top top favorites that were standouts for me so fluffy fleece was definitely a win dashing through the snow from zape um rose girls ice palace I loved I also really loved magic in the air from destination wax winter fell from teddy bees is a classic favorite of mine Stolen Hoodie from Rose Girls. I love this. I really hope to see it again soon. And one of the good ones from Rose Girls is such an amazing like bathroom fresh clean scent. So that's it you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I can't wait to watch all your videos and I hope you're all looking forward to the week of scoops and clams. I know I am. Take care. Bye guys.